This old rickety cabinet belonged to the father of taxonomy, Carl Linnaeus, and was used to house specimens that could later be studied, a bit like how you use the folders on your computer today. On its shelves sat hundreds of herbarium specimens, plants that have been preserved by pressing them flat onto sheets of paper. Linnaeus filed these plants onto the shelves of his cabinet using his sexual system. They were arranged according to their sexual reproductive organs, stamens and pistils. Linnaeus grouped plants with the same number of stamens, the male reproductive part of the flower, together. With 24 groups, some plants might have one stamen, others would have two, and so on, all the way up to 24. So each shelf in this clever cabinet represented one of those groups. If two different plants each had, say, five stamens, they would simply be put in a group together on the fifth shelf. My name's Dr Mark Spencer, and I'm a fellow of the Linnaean Society, and I'm the curator of these botany collections. This collection is still arranged using Linnaeus's sexual classification, and this old classification is the basis of the modern science we do today. However, we use other techniques today, including DNA science, to create modern classifications. In the 1600s, Plant specimens would be collected and mounted on pages inside bound books, but this wasn't ideal for botanists examining data. The plants themselves could be damaged when turning the pages, and it was difficult to compare new plants with those already fixed into a book. Linnaeus realised this. This is why he decided to mount his plants on separate loose pieces of paper, which could then be arranged in the cabinet according to his classification system. This allowed Linnaeus to be more flexible. He could easily take out a specimen, compare it with a newly collected plant, and then, if needed, revise the order in which they were arranged on the cabinet shelves. Linnaeus's classification has changed a lot, but classification is even more important now. Modern science depends on an understanding of where things are in the world. Classification helps us understand what plant or fungus we should study to make new medicines, new antibiotics, what crops to grow where. Without classification, we don't understand the world. Although Linnaeus's sexual system for classifying plants eventually fell out of favour for a more advanced approach, the simplicity of the cabinet system greatly advanced the field of plant classification. So much so that museums and universities all over the world still use it today. Thank <laughs> you.